Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe and I wanted to do, I guess, my first hits and misses video. Um, I've been wanting to kind of do them for a while and I just never did. I mean, I find other people's really helpful. So maybe I'll try to make it a monthly recurring thing. So to start off, let's see. I tried the Cargo Blu-ray HD powder. Um, I saw Holly Annery raving about it for like quite a long time and it was always out of stock because I think it got discontinued from Sephora. So I actually bought this in two different colors. This one's 20 and this one's 30 and I guess I swapped them around in the wrong package because I tried 30 thinking it was 20 and I was like oh my gosh it's like way too dark for me. So I'm gonna say 30 is a miss because it just doesn't match my skin tone. I didn't think I was that fair. I thought I was like, what would match this, but maybe in the summer, I don't know. So I'm still going to try out the 20. I haven't, I haven't tried this one out yet because I thought this one was the 20 and I was like thinking they were both too dark, but I just swapped the package and the little boxes because they look the same on the outside. So I'm going to have to keep trying them. Not quite a miss yet. Miss is the, the, the 30, but I'm going to try the 20. And maybe that'll ma match. I think there's supposed to be color matching powders. So we'll see. The texture of it is pretty nice. And then a blush that I've really, really been loving, loving, loving lately. When I first got this, I didn't love it that much. It's the um, Physician's Formula uh, Mineral Wear Powder, like blush powder. It comes like this. The It's sort of like marbled. A little bit and then there's a brush down there that I've never used um, and a mirror I guess. I kind of wish it just came separately because all I use is the blush but um, I, f I bought it for like three dollars when CVS was having their big beauty sale so it's a really good price and at first I was kind of disappointed in it because when I would stick my blush brush in it it would get really powdery I don't know if you can see but it's like really powdery but actually, I don't know what's in it, but once it hits your skin, it kind of does this airbrushed thing, which is pretty cool. And I was worried that it wouldn't show up on me just because it is so light. But it actually goes on a really, really pretty peachy color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. You probably can't see that on my hand at all. But I really love that, which is surprising because I have like tons of blushes. But I actually really, really, really did enjoy this a lot. And I've been wearing it kind of on a daily basis. It's just a matte peach color that looks really flattering. And I think it would work on a lot of skin tones. Okay, so I've also tried the Leo Ellie Crystal Muse lipstick. I do have this in a pink color, but the pink is really an intense pink that I think is a little difficult for me to pull off on a daily basis. But I've been really wanting to try an orange lipstick for the whole springtime tangerine orangey kind of look. Which I will have a tutorial on very soon. I already recorded it, so I still have to edit it. But this is a very, very bright coral orange. And the thing that impressed me about this lipstick is that after I put it on in the morning, by the time lunch rolls around and then after lunch, it's like maybe 3 o'clock, I went to the bathroom and it was still on my lips. This is like a marathon lipstick. It lasted for hours and hours and I didn't expect it at all. It's a little bit drying, not dry but like more drying than really moisturizing slick lipsticks and I think that's why it did stay on a long time. I used it um, in conjunction with lip balm and I didn't have any problems with that affecting the wear. So it's a very bright color. I usually put it on my lips and sort of blend it in with my fingers so it looks more like a stain. But I, I'm really impressed with it. This is sort of like my go-to springtime orange lipstick right now. And to go with that, I also got the Leo Ellie Blooming Gloss. You guys know I love blooming glosses. I have a little collection. And I really wanted orange again because that's sort of like my springtime color right now. And this is an orange sherbet and it's kind of shimmery. You can see the color there. I am wearing it on my lips right now, so I feel like it really brings out the natural reddish color in my own lips. It doesn't look too crazy orange, but I really like the color it turns to. So, not to mention it has that amazing candy smell, like not quite candy, but floral 
yumminess. <laughs> so I love this, definitely that is a hit. And another thing that I've tried recently is this Leo Ellie Dollish Vita Veil BB and I have it in the purple color. This thing is kind of cool. I'm, I'm thinking it's supposed to be a base. I'm not 100% sure because they call it, you know, makeup base, but it actually has color. It's not like one of those primers that you think it's going to be. Okay, I grabbed too much. That's going to look like it's still purple. But I'm rubbing it over here. See how it like just turns to color? And for me being uh, not a super super fair Korean, it matches my skin pretty well. It kind of blends in, right? From, from that to this. It seems to have little red pigments in it. And I'm really really yellow undertone so it's a little bit I find it to be a little bit on the reddier side on me, but after an hour it doesn't look like I'm wearing, you know, anything heavy on my face. Plus the texture is really nice because compared to other BB creams, it dries really matte and very fast. See, it's already it's already got that matte smooth texture. So if you're a very, you know, oily kind of person, you might like this over some of the other BB creams that get very oily on your skin. So I don't know, it's still maybe not my very favorite. I think I still kind of reach for my Skin 79 one a little bit more just because I've been battling a few hyperpigmentation scars lately and I don't think this has any you know, brightening properties and this does. But the good thing is this one has SPF 25 in it, so it has sunscreen built in. And yeah, like I said, it has a really unique texture. So I also recently picked up or Origins Vita Zing with SPF 15, and this is actually a tinted moisturizer, which, let me compare it to the that BB cream for you because it's also another thing that goes on it's like a lotion, so it's whitish, but then you blend it in and it gets darker. I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit darker than my skin. So, I really wanted to like this. I know Makeup by Tiffany D was kind of raving about it, and I saw like, Sparkage raving about it. And, I don't know, it's supposed to work on every skin tone. And I don't know how it works for them, because on me, it goes really dark. Like, darker than my skin. And I feel like it uh, sort of almost looks like I have a slight fake tan going on or wearing too much bronzer. So if I mix this color and this color together, it, it matches my skin a lot better. Probably because the purple kind of neutralizes the yellow in this a little bit. But I don't know. I'm still testing it out because I might just not be using it the right way, I guess. But. I mean, the moisturizing properties are fine, it doesn't seem to break me out, but I just feel like the all-in-one colors just don't ever match me quite right. So this is kind of, kind of a miss. I really want to like it, I'm going to keep trying it and trying to make it work, but I was a little disappointed because it had so much hype I kind of wanted it to be perfect and honestly I, I can't say that it's like an HG or anything. So another thing that I recently made a blog post about that I have been loving are these Josie Marin palettes. I absolutely love these. First of all, I do want to mention how tiny these are. You know, it's sort of like a business card holder and it's very thin so I don't think you're getting a ton of product. But these colors are really great. I actually use every single thing in this neutral palette which is very much not a common thing that you find in palettes. I'm going to take this with me when I travel. The The eyeshadows are excellent. Let me just, you know, just did a little swatch really quickly. They're super duper pigmented. This one is the um, My Favorite Powders palette and this is definitely, definitely a hit. I grab it at least three or four times a week, which is a very high rotation considering I have quite a lot of eyeshadows. And then this one is the Natural Wonder Powders palette, the Natural Wonders palette. And I really wanted this to be a little bit 
more of a balanced palette. You really need something else to go with this. You can't just take this when you travel and then that's it. It doesn't really have a good contouring color, like a deeper color to make more of your eyeshadows. And it doesn't really have a highlight shade. This gold is very gold. It looks very yellow. See? So that probably would not work on your brow bone very well. And this teal, I did a touch. And I want it to be more pigmented than that. This purple, I actually love, 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 though. That one's beautiful. And I wear these colors a lot on top of other eyeshadows. Mainly that greenish color because I mixed it with a brown that I had and it turned a really gorgeous olive green. But the blushes and bronzers down here on the other side as well are super high quality. I love that. I love these colors a lot, but I just wanted it to be more all-in-one, this Natural Wonders one. So... The everyday, you know, neutral one I absolutely love, and this one is like just okay for me. I feel like there are other things that could dupe it just as well. But the quality of the shadows is, is very good, surprisingly good. So I guess I've tried a few other things, but not enough where I feel like I can, you know, give a really strong opinion on them. So I hope that was enough for, you know, my first hits and misses video. If you want to check out more, then please visit my blog, it's from toe.com. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's twitter.com slash from head to toe. If you liked this video, then please subscribe up there. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later.